This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection, and service. Hey guys, Ibra here with Hardware Canucks. And in every keyboard review, we mention how saturated the market is. You either focus on design or release a new switch to attract attention, and SteelSeries with this new keyboard has done both. Meet the SteelSeries Apex M800 mechanical gaming keyboard that retails for surprisingly high and most likely white won't sell $200 price. I mean, we have a wide range of Corsair and Cooler Master keyboards that cost south of $150, so at first sight, the M800 feels completely overpriced. I say this because the build quality of the Apex didn't quite match our expectations. The plastic exterior feels cheap, that's also a huge fingerprint magnet, and compared to robust plastic or even aluminum frames found on competing gaming keyboards, the flexing frame will seriously hinder the appeal of the M800. At the bottom, we have these swappable rubber feet that can be used to adjust the height of the keyboard, although without a compartment to store the extras. SteelSeries also includes a set of keycaps that you can replace for OS X Yosemite since the Apex is Mac friendly, although they haven't included a key puller, plus the proprietary and virgin nature of the switch means keycap customization is off limits for now. I found the enlarged spacebar a huge bonus for FPS shooters as the pressure point is pretty consistent throughout. Plus, the new mechanical switch complements easier actuations as I noticed my thumb to be less tired after gaming compared to my Corsair K95. At the front, you'll find two USB 2.0 ports that can be used for connecting other peripherals like your gaming mouse or even charged mobile devices. The cable is braided and it ends with two USB plugs. It comes with a proper logo at the tip to help differentiate between other cables that you may have plugged in into your machine. There are six programmable macros located on the far left side of the keyboard, which can be assigned through the driver software. The media playback keys are assigned with the function keys with play, pause, skip track, and volume adjust. Considering how large the Apex is, we would have preferred dedicated media buttons instead. So this keyboard is a big deal because of one thing. A new mechanical switch has emerged, the QS1 switch developed by SteelSeries. It's advertised to be 25% smoother than a typical MX Cherry switch. Actuations felt much faster than MX Red switches since the travel distance is only 3mm compared to 4 on MX Red and actuation point at 1.5mm compared to 2 on MX Red. It requires 45 grams of actuation force and the switch is linear. There's no clicky feedback to tell when your registration occurs, but the fast response and super quick bounce all account for satisfactory fingers. It doesn't feel like a mechanical switch though. It actually kind of reminds me of a membrane keyboard, but with redesigned mechanics for longevity and eliminate all the mushy and sticky problems you experience with the membrane. The keys are extremely low profile and I have to mention how quiet they are compared to my K95. They are by far the quietest mechanical switches I've experienced. Let's take a listen. Moving on, the lighting system on the Apex screams attention. This is by far the most in-depth color customization on a keyboard we've ever reviewed. You can change the color of every individual key, so creating gaming zones, productivity zones, or writing zones with only preferred keys lit up is awesome. These LEDs have received the RGB treatment with 16.8 million colors, and the LED is centralized to eliminate that common brightness gradient found on MX switches, and overall quality of vibrance and brightness is fantastic. Plus, the subtle side lighting and the logo can change color as well that looks gorgeous. There are multiple color templates to choose from for different patterns, but some of my favorites includes the disco mode, vertical wave down, and even an American flag pattern that truly represents the custom nature of this backlight. All of this can be configured within the SteelSeries Engine 3 software that acts as a main hub for all SteelSeries peripherals. You are greeted with a very clean and simple design with the physical layout of the keyboard in the center and the adjustable settings on both the left and right sides. You can assign macros to any key on the keyboard thanks to the built-in dual microprocessors, although the six dedicated macro buttons are there for a reason, but it's still awesome to see SteelSeries not restrict this customization. The macro editor is a useful tool if you want to make changes to your macro setting. 
The Illumination tab is where I spend most of my time playing around with lighting patterns and flexible customization. As I mentioned earlier, you can personalize each and every key of the color to your choice with a plethora of lighting effects. So SteelSeries has brought us one hell of an expensive keyboard. Sure, the new QS1 switch is an almost perfect hybrid between a membrane key, but with proper mechanics for 60 million keystrokes. The switch is incredibly quiet that we consider a major positive, plus not skimping out on lighting customization is appreciated. Really, the major complaint we have is the build quality for the price. It's not at all what we were expecting for $200, and I'm hoping SteelSeries will take a hint and also focus on compact, more robust version of the Apex to be released in the near future. We like the new Switch, but we're hoping for a more aggressive entrance to compete against the MX Cherry offerings. While that concludes our review of the SteelSeries Apex M800, let us know what you think about the keyboard and what you will see in the appropriate price point for this product. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe for more similar content, and we'll see you in the next one.